Okay, boys and girls, as we wait for the rainstorm to pass, we're going to talk about the my ultimate survival hatchet. And we're going to talk about what I think goes into the ingredients of a really solid, really good or usable hatchet for survival situations. Let's talk about it. Okay, so in this video, unlike other ultimate survival tools, I haven't necessarily outfitted this hatchet with survival equipment to make it more intrinsically valuable for survival situations, but rather I want to discuss the type of survival hatchet or the type of size, weight, and kind of overall, um, the kind of size, weight, and overall kind of specifications you want to look for in a hatchet to make it the most useful or realistic for a survival situation. So the first of these is that you want to make sure whatever survival hatchet you choose is something that you're going to realistically carry. One of the reasons why I like the wildlife hatchet so much is for the fact that it is very small and very easy to carry. And when something is easy to carry or very portable, that means that you're also most likely to carry it. Something that's not going to add a lot of weight or a lot of burden to you, so you're more willing to carry that particular piece of equipment. So that's the first thing I like about the size, this 13 and a half inch size of the wild or wildlife hatchet by GBA. It's something that's very carryable and something that you're likely to actually throw on your side or in a pack and have on you when the time comes. So having something that you will carry, this isn't necessarily a hard and fast rule that it has to be a 13 inch hatchet, but you know, you want to make sure that you're carrying something that you, or that you own something that you will carry and that you carry that uh, item with you realistically when you go out. So that's the first and most important point. The other most important point about a hatchet is that you should carry a hatchet that will be good at doing the larger tasks as well as the smaller tasks. So what I mean by that is you want a hatchet that will help you build shelters, build fires, or procure, you know, firewood that you could use to start a fire in inclement weather. But you also want a you also want a hatchet that has a good enough ability to do the fine tasks, things such as processing game animals, processing resources, and feather sticking. Of course, your hatchet will not be perfect at feather sticking, but it will be it should be able to do a pretty good job at making semi-reliable curls and ultimately help you to once again start fires in a survival situation. So those are some of the most important key tasks that you want to look towards uh, for ability of your hatchet. The other realistic or reality of the survival hatchet is that ultimately the hatchet is not best paired alone. You really do need a secondary tool or piece of equipment for that hatchet. And so for me, I highly encourage running a saw with a hatchet. What really makes it an ultimate survival tool is that it can pair well with something like a saw. Because especially the, the saw and the hatchet are two items of the wilderness and of survival particularly that are incredibly useless, or are incredibly useful but very hard to use as standalone units. You know, you're not going to be able to feather stick a piece of wood with a saw, you know, but the saw will help you drop a tree that the hatchet might not be able to. Or if nothing else, the saw will be able to effectively or more efficiently gather wood for building or wood for fire uh, far more effectively or efficiently than the hatchet ever could. So these are points towards the saw's benefit and ultimately if you run the two as a pair you're going to have a really pretty solid setup honestly um, it will be very effective for you so that's kind of my uh, biggest takeaways for the ultimate survival hatchet is that it should not be paired alone and that if you are looking for a really solid tool, you should look for something that is small, lightweight, compact, that you are willing to carry. And once again, that can be a 16-inch hatchet, that could be a 13-inch hatchet, heck, you could even step it down to GBA's hand axe. And, you know, that's even smaller than this 13-inch hatchet. And maybe that's what you end up carrying. You know, you do, you do want to walk a fine line because you want to be careful, um, you know, 
of going too ridiculously small where you're no longer able to do a lot of the larger tasks, but, you know, ultimately at the end of the day, it's having the tool on you when the time comes. So th that's my kind of memo and ultimate closing words for the ultimate survival hatchet. And hopefully this rain stops soon so I can uh, return back to normal operations. But in the meantime, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.